Trump anxiety disorder exists, and it's coming to a family member near you. Psychologists and therapists across the country are reporting far higher rates of political stress ever since Donald Trump was elected president. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. The patients think the world is coming to an end. At least that's what psychologist Elizabeth Lamont says. She claims Trump's tweets threatening nuclear war, his stances toward Russia, and his Supreme Court picks are making his political opponents literally lose their minds. They're here. Ignite the tractor beam. She says they exhibit behavior similar to that of a child whose parent has a personality disorder. That's right, they think of Trump as a dad, and they don't like what they see. I don't know what they're gonna do when, when daddy gets into the White House. Symptoms include sleeplessness, excessive use of social media, and feelings of helplessness and losing control. But it's not just liberals who are feeling the burn. The American Psychology Association reports that stress levels are at a decade high on both sides of the political spectrum. Why? Well, therapists are saying many Trump supporters report their own kind of Trump anxiety disorder because they feel isolated from their friends and family. A therapist in Washington, D.C. said one of his patients was a Trump administration official whose left-leaning family was, quote, starting to hate him. He quit his administration job to make amends, but his wife still divorced him. Therapists recommend that if you fear you're coming down with this Trump disorder, you should stop using social media and pay less attention to the news. What you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. Thank you for watching DCNF Presents the Facts. We are adding a new segment where we read your comments from past videos, all because we want to hit the three minute mark and get some more tasty, tasty ad revenue. First up we have, um, um, Earthy Ed. Earthy Ed comments on our video from last week about California banning straws. This video is absolutely idiotic. There is no such law, and the clip from cops was horribly edited to insert a packet of straws. It wasn't actually part of the scene. Stop providing false information to the masses. Well, first of all, it is a law. Says, says right there, the city's municipal code. Fine of $1,000 or imprisonment not exceeding six months. The second part, though, I, I must admit, we're, we're a bit guilty. We did add straws. The guy wasn't actually getting arrested for straws in that video. And I brought, I brought in uh, one of our video editors to apologize. Katrina, can you, can, you, can you come here and apologize for fabricating that video? I just want to say I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. This completely violates all the standards that I have for myself. In fact, you should probably get on Twitter and spread the word and get really upset about it because this is, I'm sorry. I have no excuse. You're fired. I knew you thought I was serious. Like Malcolm Farroy didn't comment, but he DM'd us with some constructive criticism. Here's what he had to say. I really like what you're doing and I support you 100%. Thanks, Malcolm. But I just wanted to mention there's something about your videos that's putting people off. Uh-oh. If you watch your videos, you'll notice that when you speak, you tilt your head back a lot, and this gives the impression that you're talking down your nose at people. Snarky frat boys tend to tilt their head back and talk down to people when they're arguing or trying to make a point. Malcolm, I'll have you know, I was not in a frat in college. Easy Bradley gave us this wall of text. Oh, but we've, we've hit our three minute mark. Thanks, Bradley. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, or check out our friends at American Voices and the Daily Caller homepage. Thanks for watching again. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts.